This is why N26 will beat the Deutsche Bank. I opened at each bank one account and let me describe what happened. N26 is a challenger bank founded in 2013 with over 2.3 million customers, 500 employees and a total investment sum of over 500 US dollar and evaluated at 2.7 billion. But that's nothing against the mighty old Deutsche Bank founded in 1870 with over 90,000 employees, 500 branches and 1.3 billion in profit. So you have the Robin against the Sheriff of Nottingham. You have David against Goliath. I opened at each bank one account and let me describe what happened. At the Deutsche Bank, I needed physically to go to a retail branch during their opening hours. So I actually needed to leave the office at lunch, not eat, go there, uh, show my passport, show my identity card, that's really me, only a little bit younger, sign a few paper documents and the account was opened. But suddenly we received account information on every single transaction, even long before we actually um, ever received the information that the account was opened successfully. We really tried a lot to stop this flood of paper and try to, that they don't send us every single transaction with a different account information. And of course we paid for this flood of paper and it was really not easy to stop this flood. And in parallel, I also opened a business account at N26. And it went like this. It was Sunday at I think 10 or 11 p.m. I was sitting on my couch. I used my phone, called them. I had a nice video conversation with them and showing my identity card and in 10 minutes my account was open no flood of paper no extra charges no stress everything were convenient fine fast and now i do all my business via n26 but why is n26 winning against deutsche bank first this clearly shows that a giant like the deutsche bank is unable to deliver a customer experience as it is desired by most customers today. The second thing, the giant doesn't seem to have his legacy systems under control. If they would, I could open my bank account from my couch and would not need to spend so much time walking around and filling out thousands of papers and I would not receive uncoordinated flood of paper. Third, I think this flood of paper, uncoordinated letters, hidden fees and long and unpleasant processes, all of this is expression of a little bit of corporate chaos and a culture that goes with it. And then you have something like N26. The process of opening an account was seamless, great user experience, great service, really fast, really quick, really when I wanted it to do. And also other great services when I receive a transfer or a transfer goes away, I see the information right there as push notification with the amount. It's really easy convenience and keeps me in control. Before I decided to run all my business through N26, I was thinking, do I actually trust a new bank enough to let all my business go through those accounts? And then I asked myself, do I actually trust the Deutsche Bank? And the decision was made, I moved it all to N26. So what did I learn? For the traditional finance industry, I learned two things. First, it's possible to deliver digital products and services that excite customers, relieve them of pain and deliver a tremendous amount of value. Also a traditional bank with such gigantic IT budgets could actually do it. And the second thing I learned, traditional banks really need to kill all their paper-based processes that force the customer to fill up a million different things. You really need to streamline your processes that not uncoordinated flood of paper comes upon the customer. And if we do all this, digital transformation does not need to be a threat. Digital transformation can be an opportunity to grow as a company and to make the customer happy again. So, if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit 
the subscribe button down here or sign up for a newsletter so we can give you all of Hotter's newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner. <laughs>